Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and <laughs> we're just kind of cleaning up with the worker mist here because, you know, workers, they don't do the best job, but uh, they still want to get paid good, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, so yeah, we still have such, such a ton of stuff to do on the farm, and um, we're going to kind of do a continuation off the last video. If you've seen that, then uh, you'll know... How that ended, and uh, it didn't end very well. We had issues with our silage, but we we're going to fix that today. Uh, luckily, we don't have seasons out, so we're not going to lose any cows. We are very short on food for the cows at the moment, but um, we should get that straightened out today. So, as you can see, I do have a little bit more money to work with, and uh, I think I'm going to get this one last little strip up here too. Why not? Uh, and the only reason why I really did that... Okay, come on. Let's lower that back down. Is because... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lease another harvester. And we'll have two harvesters going, uh, trying to clear these fields. And I do want to get another trailer that we can offload in, other than... That one that we have for the pellets. I know it doesn't really matter that, you know, we can we can put pellets in there. It's not a big deal. But uh you know, it's uh this is kinda how I wanna play it. So we're gonna offload this quick. And then we're gonna move this on to the next field. Uh then I have to start mowing some grass. there, huh? Okay. There we go. So as we do this, let me check the map and see what fields that we had that need to be harvested. Okay, so 60, 33, and 32. 26 needs to be harvested as well. I also have to get something down here, but that's not going to work. That's right. I need a plow. I haven't gotten a plow yet. Dang it. That's what I need to do. Well, you know what? I am going to go ahead and say one job at a time here. And actually, can I drive this? There's no way. There's no way I'm getting that through that gate. Mm. So this is kind of the issue on this map. Uh, you know, these are these are good sized fields. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the header that I'm using. It's it's uh it's perfectly suitable for this size field. But all the gates make it so you have to trailer these damn headers in to just about every field. So, let's get this lined up. That looks good. There we go. And, uh... I should be able to tow this right with the harvester here. So while we're doing this, um, mm, is that pipe going to be a problem? Ooh, it may be. Maybe not. We're just going to the next field over. But yeah, so while I do this, uh, I'm going to take this a little bit of time here to kind of say what's going on with my Campaign of France series. Um, I'm having issues with either the map or the geo that I'm using, guys, and I don't know which, but I just cannot seem to get my crops to grow on the map and it's a little frustrating <laughs> to uh to say the least but uh so i don't know what i'm going to do about it i don't know what i'm going to do about it um for the time being i gonna keep putting videos out on this map and i'm not really sure and that's not even the right way 
God. Okay. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I really want to do a roleplay series, though. I was having a lot of fun with it, so I may just pick another map. Um, kind of end that one somehow and continue on another map. I, you know, I'm really kind of holding out for Sandy Bay. That was always the plan. But, I mean, honestly, I have no idea when we are going to see that map on console. I just really don't. It seems to be taking forever to get that map on console. Um, I don't want to do that. All right, look at me with my terrible driving skills. It's so tight in through here. It really is. So I think I'm probably going to go around the headland once, guys. And then we'll put a worker on this. <clears throat> and then we have some bigger fish to fry. Is this actually, can I? Yes, all right. I can swath this. Good, 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 good. Oh, this is another, yeah, this is another weird shaped field. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go around the headland here. And see, I'm already missing stuff, but that's all right. I can always pick that up later. It's not a big deal. <laughs> So I should have probably gone around twice, but I have a lot of stuff I have to do, so I'm just going to set a worker on this and see what happens. I know it's probably not going to do a very good job, but, you know, that's uh, that's the name of the game, right? Alright, so it doesn't look like it's going to do too bad. Hopefully it'll go in the direction I want it to. Alright, so while that's doing that... Actually, we have to go over to this tractor here, and we need to get some maintenance on this thing. And we need to empty out the uh, canola, because... I don't believe the field that we're plowing now is canola, so... We'll get rid of this. Put this in the shop. Get it worked on. And then we'll be on our way to, hopefully, a different job. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to tell you guys a funny story. Um, well, you know, this game, since I've been playing this game, you know, I've been noticing a lot of, uh, a lot of farm, farm equipment and, and stuff like that. So, the other day, I was bringing my wife home from work. And we take the back roads to our house. Well, we live in the country, so there, there's a lot of farmland around us. And the road that we take... There was actually a, uh, a John Deere tractor. I don't know, like, the model of it or anything like that. But what really caught my eye was it had, like, a, uh, a brand-new class round baler on the back of it. And obviously it looked like maybe, see, this is, hmm. Why am I getting lag here? Something doesn't like something. You know, this trailer mod doesn't like the silo or something, I'm not sure. I need to move this. But yeah, so it, it had a, uh, a class round baler on the back of it. And uh, it just it just got me all excited to see it, you know, because I knew what it was. And Like I say, prior to playing this game, uh, I would have really thought nothing of it, <laughs> you know. Uh, we should probably feed the dog quick. There you go, buddy. There you go. 
Don't know why we can't give him water, but I guess he'll be all right. I'm probably going to... Oh, my God. That's not even the button I hit. What is going on? <laughs> why is this... Wow, that collision camera is going all crazy. Oh, I'm going to have to detach this weight. I really wish that they would change it where when you... <clears throat> go into the trigger, it'll, like, ask you what item you want to work on or sell, but... Oh, well. Okay, so let's repair that. Yes. Nice and quick and easy. Now. What I have to do... Is, you know, I might as well just hook on... Ooh, where'd it go? <laughs> what did we do with it? Okay, it's right over there. We're going to hook on to the subsoiler. And we're going to put this to work right on the field that we just harvested. I'll probably use these smaller class to cart the crops around. And I do want to at least lease another harvester, I think just to get the harvesting done so we can get the planting and we can get to do another oh I always every time at that spot so I don't know how this is gonna work but we're just gonna set the worker off here Alright, so let's go take a look into the store and see what kind of harvester we can get. What do we want? Let's take a look and see what we have for the mods. Ideal, I don't know if we really want another really big one. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. We'll see. Let's see here, 12,300 for that. I do like those. Hmm. Well, let's see here, 349,000, that holds 12,300, 11,000, 6,400, that's a small one, 10,000, 14, 4, let's see, 17. Okay, so that, that class Lexion actually holds the most. At 18,000. And then this one here comes in second. Um, I think we might go with a John Deere, though. That's that's what I'm thinking, guys. 14,000 on that John Deere. Is that the biggest John Deere they have? I know it's not. I don't have a mod. Hmm. I mean, we could just get two of these Lexians. Let's see, how much would it be to lease? Ooh, 24,000. Wow, that's... Hmm. It's 23,000 for this one. Okay, what I might do, guys, is why? See why? Why is it stopping there? And it stopped there. See, 
For some reason on this map, I feel that the fields are, are reading the road a little wrong because if you actually drive on that part of the field there, cars will honk at you like they can't get through. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it doesn't matter. We can we can clear that up. Not a big deal. Um, so I guess I'm just going to hold off on the other harvester for now. Um, I may go look into the mod hub and see what's in there. Uh, I think that'll be the best bet. But before I do that, I need to get some mowing done because our cows need food and I really want to finish up what I started with the TMR. So, no, 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 put that back down. Now, we did get new mowers. We are trying these fella mowers out. Now, I normally prefer to use the butterfly mowers but I do use those quite a bit so I figured we would try something else here but yeah I really wanted to do more with the uh, the roleplay series on the campaign of France but like I said I just for some reason, I can't get the crops to grow. And I don't know if it's an issue on the map. Because that map does have a lot of issues and there's never been an update to it. Because honestly, you know, I get it. Like, it's not that popular of a map. Um, a lot of people don't like uh, small maps like that. I, I really do. Like, I guess I'm just strange that way. But, yeah, I really like those, those small... European maps. I like them better than the big American maps, actually, just because there's a lot more characters to the maps, I feel. You know, big flat areas just, I feel, are a little boring. This is kind of a strange shaped field. But yeah, we are going to get this mowing done. And I have a lot of fields to mow, too, actually. So we got to get it mowed, and we got to get it all turned to hay. And I am missing all kinds of stuff with this here. So we can finally make TMR the right way. here to finish up and then we're gonna have to take another run up to the store because I didn't have a wind drawer or a tether so uh yeah I'm really getting sick of going to the store I should have made sure I've had I had all this stuff beforehand but what are you gonna do
and I don't know if you guys have been experiencing any issues with, with the game, but for some reason lately, um, I've been experiencing terrible, terrible lag on this game. Like, you know, like right now I just had some, and I never, I've never had that with this game before, so I really don't know what's going on with it. But I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it one bit. I don't know if I just, you know, I mean, this is the second map now. Mod map that I've had that, you know, I've been having lag issues. So I really don't know if it's that I have too many mods on the map or, or what. I just, I, I don't know. I wish I did. put that tractor there and I think you know I think what I might do I think I might just say screw it and buy another tractor because as of right now we have pretty much all of our tractors are working so let's see here I, like I said I'm not really too concerned about money because I can always put more money in. This is not a realistic series. I'm not worried about the money, guys. Um, ooh. The New Holland T6 Blue Power. Uh, 125 horse. Damn. Need something with a little more. A little more than that. Could go with the Massey. I haven't had a Massey in a while. Okay, now we're getting into the... Modern classics, I think, what is what these are. Two hundred eighty, one forty-five, two hundred five. Um, we could go with an Axion. I kind of want to go with something different, though. I think we'll go with a case. I don't run case a lot. So 188,000, I don't have enough for that. Damn! Don't have enough for that. Okay, I don't really have enough for another tractor just yet. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to have to take this. I hope it be as blocked by an object, huh? Okay, I might as well just finish this little bit here up, guys. So, I think we're going to offload this, and I think this is where we're going to end for today, guys. Um, I think I have to get rid of this trailer. Because it's... Uh, it's really finicky, and I wonder if this is part of my problems. But, uh, yeah, so we're doing this here. We got, let me just tab over. Too many vehicles, too many vehicles. All right, we got, uh, okay. So we have this worker here. They're continuing to work on this field. This field is a mess. There's a lot of cleaning up I'm going to have to do on this field. But, again, I didn't go around the headlands. I really should have. Um, although this field isn't really that oddly misshapen. Um, I think that if I were to run around the headlands probably twice on this field, uh, there wouldn't have been much of an issue. But, I have quite a bit of things I have to do. I have to get things from the store, and I have to bring them back to the farm, and I'm not going to put that on camera. That's just, uh, no, I need to set that up better. But what I need to do is I'm going to need to windrow that field that we mowed. Uh, tend it. Tend it first. I'm sorry. Tend it. Uh, turn it into hay. Then we'll windrow it. And then um, I'm you know, I'm going to say that the, the best bet is to bail it up. And then we will make our TMR finally out of that. Um, 
we need to do more. I mean, this is going to be a continuance right here because every field that we have to harvest, we're going to have to subsoil. Um, then I'm going to have to lay down lime and then we can start planting. So there is still just a ton that we have to get done. Um, you know, there's no way I can get it done in one video, guys. I'm also going to go into the mod hub and check on harvesters to see what they have in there. And uh, with that, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope you have a great weekend. This is Father's Day weekend, so remember that, guys. Uh, wish your dads a happy Father's Day. Spend some time with them on Sunday. Go out, do a barbecue, whatever, you know. I mean, the whole social distancing thing is, is uh, you know, it's lightening up finally. And there's no reason why you can't go visit your mom and dad. And wish your dad a happy Father's Day for me, guys. So that being said, I will see you next time.